As the eShop spends its last year on the Nintendo 3DS, here are some of my game suggestions for you to buy on the eShop before it's too late. My list might not be the same as others, I have a pretty particular taste in video games, and some of these are even on my list to buy. All of the games on this list have one thing in common though, their physical copy is either one of two things, really hard to find or extremely expensive. So whenever the eShop closes down, it's going to be really hard for you to come across any of these games on my list. If you already have some of these games, feel free to let us know if you enjoy them. The eShop closing is going to make a lot of these titles impossible to find in the future, so buy what you can while you still have the time. First on the list, I have Moko Moko Friends. Moko Moko Friends is an exciting twist on the adventure RPG genre. Build your own skills and collect loads of cuddly monsters to become the ultimate plushkin master. Battle against your rivals, scavenge items, venture through the massive dungeons, evolve your plushkin monsters, and travel with your companions across the magical realm of Dreamtopia. So pretty much this game is the magical girl version of Pokemon. Not only is this game super adorable, but it's also extremely underrated. It's a favorite of mine for the 3DS for sure. Next, I'm shocked to have this one on the list, but it is Corpse Party. For those of you who have never heard of this game, or maybe you're unfamiliar, Corpse Party revolves around a group of students and their homeroom teacher. They perform a charm as a send-off for one of their classmates who is transferring to another school. However, a massive earthquake occurs after they perform the charm and they are dragged into Heavenly Host Elementary School. The students appear in a completely different dimension inside the school, separated from one another. They come across corpses of people who were trapped before them, along with the spirits of the deceased. They must avoid traps and fight for their survival while unraveling the mystery behind Heavenly Host. Corpse Party is a linear survival horror game. This is a horror game and it is very gruesome. I freaking love this game. I personally have this downloaded on my 3DS and I highly suggest it to anybody who is a horror fan. So the physical copy for this game is super hard to find and it's also really expensive if you do come across it. Going on the low end for $100 anywhere to $500. I highly suggest you pick this game up on the eShop instead. Let's talk about Style Savvy Fashion Forward. So this is like a fancy dress up game. You get to show off your sense of style and dominate the fashion world across five exciting careers. Manage your own boutique, design clothes fit for a fashionista, style some wicked hair, master the art of makeup, and even become the next top model. The physical copy for this game is super hard to find. If you've played Style Savvy Trendsetters, then you know what this game is going to be about. The hard copy for this game is very hard to find and very expensive. So it is one that I highly suggest as well. Next we have Rhythm Heaven Mega Mix. The physical release for this game only came out over in Japan, so you're definitely going to want to check this out if you really love rhythm games. If you guys have ever played Rhythm Heaven on the DS, then you're going to love Rhythm Heaven Mega Mix. There are over 70 rhythm games, including new ones, remixed fan favorites, and US debuts. Now, I did come across a photo of a physical version of this game that looked like it could have been US or Europe. If that was legit, I have no idea. But either way, this one is a hard one to find nonetheless. Next, we have Rhythm Thief, The Emperor's Treasure. This game actually has a demo on the Nintendo eShop, so I would definitely run and grab that while you can. Pump up the tempo in the most mysterious rhythm adventure ever to hit the Nintendo 3DS. Raphael has a secret life as a heroic thief who is famous for stealing famous works of art only to return it days later. Control the game to the beat of the music to maneuver Raphael in a variety of rhythm based challenges. If you can't tell, I'm a huge fan of rhythm games. And sadly, not being able to purchase this one, the US version of this game goes for over $100, close to $200. So, yeah, definitely purchase this one for, from the eShop. So here comes a game I actually had at one point in time, and that is Fantasy Life. Becoming more rare to find, Fantasy Life is a role-playing game. It reminds me of Harvest Moon combined with a little bit of Animal Crossing. Embark on the adventure of your dream life as you craft, cast, fish, mine, 
battle and explore like never before. With the innovative life system, your choices don't just upgrade characters. They help shape your journey. Explore a huge fantasy landscape besides dark paladins, slick pirate captains, regal princesses, and others who share your taste for the unknown. There are 12 life classes that you can choose to play as. I definitely wish that I would have never gotten rid of this game because I did in fact have the physical copy, but it is such a good Nintendo 3DS game, I wish that they would bring it to the Switch to be honest. Next is Waku Waku Sweets, Happy Sweets Making. Now I actually have Waku Waku Sweets for the Nintendo Switch, but I never got it for the Nintendo 3DS. This is definitely an anime-styled Cooking Mama game, if you can't tell. You can learn how to make sweets with over 100 kinds of fun while playing. There are many recipes including cakes, cookies, Japanese sweets, and so on. So pretty much this is a collection of cooking mini games tied together with a story about a young woman who wants to become a master baker and make people happy with the treats that she creates. You get to participate in game baking competitions and earn money that can be spent on things for your room and for recipes. The physical copy for this game was mainly released over in Japan and it is very expensive and also harder to find. You can buy Waku Waku Sweets for the Nintendo Switch, but it's a little bit more special to have it on the Nintendo 3DS, that's for sure. Next, let's talk about a game that I freaking love and I got to play together side by side with my boyfriend, and that is Code of Princess. Code of Princess is an action adventure game. Up to four players can take on challenges in co-op mode or battle against one another in competitive play. The physical copy of this game is definitely expensive and it's more hard to find. You can find a few copies of this game right now for about $34 and that is the physical copy. So if that's something you're interested in, I would go snatch it up because there are not a lot that appear on the internet at all. That is why I highly suggest that you check this one out over on the eShop. In the world populated by humans and monsters, Princess Solange is exiled from her home kingdom after it is attacked by monsters and the royal family is blamed for the attack. She sets out to find the cause of the monster's violent behavior. This game is definitely a lot of fun, and I freaking love Lady Zozo. She is the necromancer. Ha, ah, yes. One of the only DS games that I have on this list is going to be Dementium Remastered. So this one's gonna be a little bit more special. Not only is it a DS game, but it has been completely remastered. With the going price on the eShop being about $14, you're getting a really good deal and it's gonna look a lot better. This is a first person survival horror experience and of course since it's been remastered it has enhanced graphics, refined gameplay, high quality audio, and immersive control options. It has a new difficulty setting including Demented Mode designed for hardcore fans of the series. Dimension Remastered tells the tale of a man who awakens to find himself alone in a mysterious hospital that is frozen in time. Confronted by the deadly grotesque surgical experiments that wander the halls, a series of challenging puzzles, and a cast of peculiar characters, he must face his deepest fears, unlock the mysteries of the hospital, and escape with his life. This game is very similar to Silent Hill, so if you like Silent Hill games, you're really gonna like this one. Now let's talk about Etrian Odyssey Nexus. This is a role-playing game. You can create and customize characters from 19 playable classes, then take on the dangerous creatures in the labyrinths, with your perfect party. With the ability to swap between four difficulty settings, auto mapping settings, and a grand standalone story. So it's a dungeon crawler and it's definitely one that I would really like to play. The physical copy of this game is really hard to come across and selling upwards of $100 to $150, if not more at times. I'm not a huge fan of dungeon crawlers, but I will play them sometimes. This one is definitely on my to buy list. Of course we have to mention Kid Icarus. The dark goddess Medusa and her underworld army have returned and they've got their sights set on the heroic angel pit. With the aid of the goddess of light and the guardian of the human race, Pitt must fend off this malevolent threat. This game also includes AR card compatibility. The AR cards sell for around 15 bucks. I would grab those if you ever get the chance to before they just sell out and they're hard to find again. Now this game is gonna be a bit of a weird one, but it's Gabriella's Ghostly Groove 3D. It's not a super expensive game whenever you do find it, going for about 25 to 50 dollars. It's just a bit harder to find. So this is an arcade or rhythm game. You can earn tons of 
outfits, items, and more, and there are over 30 stages to master. Gabriella is having a bad day. She sneezed her soul right out of her body. She'll have to travel to Monsterville, the home of all things, that go bump in the night to get help. Only by busting out the ghostliest dance moves and thrilling and chilling people will she be able to scare up the power she needs to get herself back into her body. This game is really cute. It's very adorable. Do I think most people are going to like this one? Probably not, but it's one of the games that I definitely think you should at least look into. It's just one of those weird obscure games that are out there for the DS. Here is another on my wish list. Professor Layton vs Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney. Two of gaming's biggest loops team up to solve the most puzzling mystery they have ever encountered. For the first time ever, the mind-bending puzzles of the Professor Layton series meet the courtroom drama of Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney. Follow Professor Layton and Phoenix Wright as they are transported from London to the mystical city of Labyrinthia, and I'm sorry if I'm saying that wrong, where they must help a girl accused of being a witch. Does that not sound like the coolest storyline ever? Because I think it does. <laughs> this one is definitely a must have in my opinion, and seeing as it is super rare and hard to find and goes for around 80 something dollars onward to 230 bucks, this one would be a good still to have on your 3DS before the eShop closes. Now we're going to talk about one of my favorite Nintendo games and that is Cooking Mama. Now believe it or not there are two Cooking Mama games that I highly suggest that you pick up. First we have Cooking Mama Sweet Shop which is actually on sale right now at the time that I'm making this video for $5.99 and we're gonna talk about Cooking Mama 5 Bon Appetit. Seeing as Cooking Mama Sweet Shop is on sale for six bucks and it usually goes around $30 online this is a complete still. So this is a typical Cooking Mama game, but it's got a bunch of sweets in it instead of other food. There are over 160 different mini games, and you can create 60 different recipes. Now Cooking Mama 5 for the 3DS, I don't feel like it was really promoted very well. So I don't know if a lot of people know that it even exists. It's a bit harder to find right now, that's for sure, and I feel like it's only going to get harder to find as time goes on. And this one you get to create 60 brand new recipes, and there are over 30 mini games. Cooking Mama is a stylus based game for those of you that don't know, but it is one of my favorites and has been since the DS. Another kind of obscure game that I feel is going to become even harder to find than it is now, and that is Hello Kitty and Sanrio Friends 3D Racing. Like I said, it's a weird one. It's a fun rainbow race to finish the line with Hello Kitty and her super cute friends. Drive cars, planes, boats, through 3D environments including Choco Cat's Tropical Island, Little Twin Stars Galaxy, and Hello Kitty's Happy Town. Compete against nine other racers as you pick up cool power-ups, then unlock 20 different mini-games that will challenge your skills. You can customize your vehicles and change character outfits to make the game your own. Play as your favorite Sanrio characters including My Melody, Hello Kitty, Karopi, Bats Maru, and many more. This has been on my wish list for quite some time because it is just so weird. It's like Mario Kart, but make it Sanrio. The next two games are in the same series and that is Yokai Watch. Now I never got into Yokai Watch, but these two games are really hard to find and really expensive whenever you do find them. So the first one is Yokai Watch Blaster's Red Cat Corpse, and the other is Yokai Watch 3. So Yokai Watch is of course similar to Pokemon, and it's a very cute game. It even has its own TV show and merch and all of that good stuff. If you can snatch these up on the Nintendo eShop, you'll be very lucky, that's for sure. Seeing as Nintendo 3DS games just aren't being made anymore, and a lot of these are just out of production, whenever these games become impossible to find, Having them on your Nintendo 3DS in a digital form is going to be very important, trust me. <laughs> now let's talk about Pokemon games, because as we all know, with the DS and any other console, Pokemon games become more rare and expensive as time goes on. If there are any free to play Pokemon games on the eShop that you want, or any games in general, I definitely suggest that you pick them up. One game that I personally want to get is Pokemon Art Academy. That and Pokemon X because Pokemon X and Y are definitely my favorite Pokemon games aside from Pokemon Heart Gold. But as we know, as time goes on, these are just going to raise in price. So any Pokemon game will do, to be honest. Here's a game that I recently got a couple of years ago because I found it very hard to find and whenever I finally 
found a copy online for a decent price, I snatched it up. And that is Nintendo Dogs and Cats Toy Poodle. Now for some reason, the Toy Poodle version is a bit harder to find than the other two, so I would definitely give it a go from the eShop. Nintendo Dogs games from the DS have never been rare or hard to find or hard to come across, but for some reason this certain game just is like that, and I really, I don't know if they didn't make a lot in production or what it was. Surprisingly on this list is gonna be Luigi's Mansion, and not Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon, just the first one. After winning a mansion in a contest he didn't enter, Luigi must beat its bosses and puzzles. Follow a map on a touch screen, shine a flashlight, blow a fire, shoot water, stun ghosts, and trap them before Mario is trapped forever. The physical copy for Luigi's Mansion is definitely becoming rarer and rarer to find as time passes on. Dark Moon is a lot easier to find, so this one will be a really good one to add to your wish list for the eShop. Now I'm going to talk about a weird one that I don't know if it'll ever become rare or hard to find, but something in my gut tells me that might be the case, and that is Disney Magical World. Now, Disney games for the Nintendo consoles usually don't become super rare or anything like that, but seeing as Disney Magical World 2 just came out for the Switch, and it is definitely the more popular game whenever it comes to both games, the first game in the series, I feel it might be harder to find in the future. So in this game, you get to meet and interact with 60 favorite Disney characters while exploring the worlds of Alice in Wonderland, Cinderella, Aladdin, and Winnie the Pooh. You can manage your own cafe and set off on ghost hunting quests. There are tons of customizations that you can go through, and of course you get to play as your me. That is one big thing about this game. This game reminds me of Animal Crossing mixed with Disney. It is one of my favorite games for the 3DS. Mainly the second one is a lot better than this one, but I feel like this one is going to become harder to find and more forgotten about. So give this one a go. I think you might like it, if you're a Disney fan anyways. And last, we have Stella Glow. For an entire millennium, the world has been devoid of song as a result of a savage war. Only five witches left in the land are able to use the sonic magic. However, Hilda, the Witch of Destruction, plans to eliminate the other witches and the world with her curse. They all must do all they can to stop Hilda, starting with recruiting other witches and using their power of song to break the curse. It's definitely harder to find as time goes on and it is a lot more expensive for the physical copy. There is a demo that you can download and it goes for about $19. If you buy the physical copy, you're looking to spend anywhere from $40 to $500 if you want the special launch edition. <laughs> so those are my suggestions for what you should download on the eShop before it's too late. Now that has been said, I'm going to give you one Wii U suggestion. This is my top suggestion as I've never played the Wii U, I've never had it, but I know this game is on the Wii U and on the eShop. Because as we all know, the Wii U eShop is also closing down alongside with the 3DS. So this game is Trauma Team. If you have ever played Trauma Center or Trauma Center 2 Under the Knife for the DS, I can promise you you're going to love this game. It looks very similar to the Trauma Center games for the DS. So I can only assume that it's going to be really good. For those of you that do not know what Trauma Center is, it is a game where you get to play as a surgeon and you perform surgeries to help save people's lives. There is also a storyline intertwined with each and every game. So it is a video game that combines simulation gameplay with a non-interactive visual novel storytelling using fully voiced motion comic segments. The campaign is split into six medical themed disciplines, surgery, emergency, medicine, endoscopy, diagnosis, orthopedics, and forensic medicine. So if you're looking for a Wii U game and you haven't found those Wii U suggestions yet, this is my one for you, for those of you that enjoy the Wii U. And just saying, anybody out there that likes the DS, grab up a Trauma Center game. Please, you will not regret it. I hope you enjoyed my suggestions of things you should buy on the eShop or at least demos you should try out because a lot of these do have demos. Thank you all so much for watching. That is all for this video and I will see you guys in my next video. I adore you all so much. Bye bye. Smooch. <laughs>